morning, everyone. My name is Francia. This is Duke, the crazy puppy, and this is Dina. And hopefully they're going to go for a hike soon so we can get our practice and not be interrupted. But today we're going to do a um, breathing practice. We're actually going to start with some chanting. I have prepared um, a couple of uh, opening mantras or, or peace mantras, I guess, that I would like for us to learn. And maybe if you guys like it, we can kind of delve more into those as the weeks progress. So um, I'm going to join, uh, share them on my screen so that we can chant them together. You guys can read them. And it's got the Sanskrit um, uh, uh, alliteration, I guess, because it's not the wording. It's not written in Sanskrit. It's written in English. Yeah. Uh, but it's got that wording. And then underneath, it also has the uh, English translation of what it means. So because I know a lot of times when we chant, it's like, well, what am I saying if you're not, if it's in language that is not your own? So we're going to try and see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So I'm going to zoom in so we can read it carefully. So this one, we're going to do three. This is an open pranayama chant. It's an universal peace prayer. So the meaning is. May God protect us both. May God nourish us both. May we work together with energy and vigor. May our study be enlightening and not giving rise to any hostility between us. Om, peace, peace, peace. And this is the Sanskrit of it. So that's the first one we're going to chant. And then the second one, here it is. From ignorance, lead me to truth. From darkness, lead me to light. From death, lead me to immortality. Om, peace, peace, peace. And then the third one will be this one. Um, it's hard to translate it, but the outer world is full. The inner, this inner world is also full. From fullness is manifested more fullness. Taking fullness out from fullness, fullness remains unchanged. So this one's a little bit more esoteric, a little bit more. We'll have to kind of dig into the meaning of it. But as you can see, they're, they're all very simple, uh, uh, universal types of chants that um, wouldn't contradict with anyone's belief systems or anyone's, um, you know, religion or anything like that. And, you know, just with everything going on in the world, I thought it'd be nice to include some, some peace and some love into the world. So I guess that's why I want to do this today. So let me make it nice and big for you guys to see. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start in a comfortable seated position. So you can use a pillow or a, uh, if you have a meditation cushion, you can use a meditation cushion. I always cover my shoulders. I'm used to it at the ashram. You always have to have your shoulders covered, but you don't have to. You're welcome to stay the way you are. And we'll just kind of take a moment to lengthen the spine, create a sense of space from the tailbone up. Allow the shoulders to relax and soften. Come into connection with your breath. Nice, easy, deep inhale. Slow, gentle exhale. Finding a little bit of space in between each breath. Hovering at the top of the inhale breath. Allowing a gentle pause at the bottom of the exhale breath. And simply observing how this breath connects us to our emotions, to our bodies, to the fluctuations of the mind. Creating a sense of ease and connection. As we prepare to chant this mantra, you're welcome to continue this same peaceful breathing. Allow the shoulders to soften, and if you need to readjust your body in any way, feel free to do so. We'll begin with Om. Sahana Avatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam 
Karabhavahai Tejasvinavadi Tamastumavid Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Allowing ourselves a few moments of stillness to let the sounds resonate within. And we'll do it one more time. Sahana Avatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karabhavahai Tejasvinavadi Tamastumavid Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Beautiful. We'll move on to the next one. We'll start with Om as well. Soften the shoulders. Om. Asatoma Satgamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mritriorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 One more time. Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And we'll do the last one. Again, we'll do this one also twice. Oh, Pur Namadam, Pur Namidam, Pur Nat, Pur Namudachate, Pur Nasha, Pur Namadaya, Pur Nameva Shishate. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Add it one last time. Deep breath in. Oh. Pur namada, pur namidam, pur nat, pur namuda chate, pur nasya, pur namadaya, pur nameva avashishate. 
ओ शांति 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 सो जस्ट कैन टेक अ मोमेंट टू अलाउ the sounds these are ancient sounds um that uh we speak when we speak sanskrit and each one has its own vibration so aside from the meaning of these peace prayers and these peace chants also the vibrations that we create within the throat and the abdomen and the body at whole create give put us in a in a specific vibe in a specific vibration so just let's sit with that for a moment and maybe just kind of dedicate today's practice you know to alleviate a lot of the suffering that is going on in the world to allow for our leaders to make better choices that impact all human beings on our planet to allow us as individuals to make better choices that impact all sentient beings on our planet It is said that peace begins with one. It begins individually in the heart of each person. So let us be that beginning. Let's find peace within ourselves in order to create peace, abundance, love, clarity, freedom throughout the rest of our planet. May all beings be free. May all beings be peaceful. may all beings be filled with love and with kindness i'll go to another deep breath in hovering and floating at the top of that inhale breath slow breath out you can gently open your eyes if you had them closed beautiful okay we're going to start with our first pranayama breath this is what well, we'll do uddhava bandha and then we're going to try for nali now i am not a professional at this i am still working as you all know i'm also a student forever a student but i believe that i'm slightly ahead of the 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 hype than maybe some of you guys are so we're going to start with uddhava bandha we always talk about mula bandha the pelvic floor muscles that engage whenever we do things like lift up like press into the arms and come into upper arm balance or even inversions like we go into headstand so mula bandha is that lower pelvic floor um engagement and that is a lock there uddhava bandha happens up here kind of at the pit of the stomach let's say um in spanish we call it la boca del estomago <laughs> so it happens up here but it begins from the belly button so i'm actually going to show you guys my belly because what we want to do is create a hollowness in that part of the abdomen so if we just kind of relax the belly give it buddha belly nice relax no worries about the belly we're all you know friends here it doesn't matter right bodies are all different shapes and sizes so give yourself a moment to kind of feel what it feels like to just be in a relaxed state especially in our western world we tend to always want to suck in and hold in and oh i'm so tight right like no just let ourselves relax let your belly kind of just hang if there's skin there's skin you can touch it you can give it a little bit of love you know thank you belly if you've had babies think about like all that those beautiful babies grew inside this belly so just kind of give yourself a little bit of self love here for a moment and what we're going to try and do is hollow in from this center line drawing the energy up and in towards the diaphragm so what we want to place is our hands we can do this standing up as well but i like it seated you're going to place our hands on our knees you're going to lean forward ever so slightly not too much just enough to kind of soften your elbows keep your uh your core nice and straight and and into place and then as we exhale fully we release the abdomen all the buddha belly hangs out and then as we don't inhale we hold the breath so exhale we release and then it's like a mock inhale we draw up and in but not with the breath with the abdomen so it looks like this exhale then we release and then we inhale finally 
So there's a breath retention that happens when we do Uriyana Bandha. And the breath retention can be as long as you feel comfortable. You know, obviously, if you're like, oh, I got to breathe, I'm suffocating. Breathe. It shouldn't be that much of a struggle. But you want to feel that drawing in and almost like you're pulling the muscles up and in within the rib cage. It's really intense. So we're going to try it a couple more times because it takes some time for us to get used to it. All right. So let's go for an and exhale. Well, first for an inhale. Exhale fully. And now drop in it. Release the belly and inhale. Good. Okay. Let's try it a couple more times just to get us into the move of things and then we'll move on. Inhale. Exhale fully. Release and inhale breath. So again, you can hold that a little longer or a little shorter. It's up to you. I'm going to tilt my camera down so you can really see what's going on with the belly. All right, here we go. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the breath. Release. Inhale. Good. Exhale. So there's a little bit of tension that happens in the neck and the shoulders, a little bit of a tuck in through the throat, creating a slight Jalandhara Bandha there as well. So let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Retain. And slowly release. Good. Very nice. Okay. So after that, once we learn that, and I was going to do it today, but I think I'll save it for another day, it's called Nali. So it's the same idea. You draw in, but then you're going to try to kind of move the abdomen, move the right side wall of the abdomen forward and the left side wall. And it creates kind of this churning motion of the abdomen. But I think that's, okay. that's pretty good for now. We're going to stop there as far as Jalandhar is concerned. And we'll add Nali another day. All right, so if you need to change your position, feel free to kind of come into a different position. Otherwise, you can stay where you are. The next breath we're going to practice today is um, uh, alternate nostril breathing, but not in the normal way that we practice it. We're going to try breathing only through the left, inhaling through the left, and then exhaling through the right and repeating left to right, left to right, left to right. We'll do five sets, and then we'll do the same thing the other way. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. So we take Vishnu Mudra, thumb out, Index finger, middle finger down, ring finger, pinky finger out. This is Vishnu Mudra. Place it at your heart for a moment as you settle into the breath and into your stance, into your seated posture, your asana. Soften the shoulders, create a sense of peace. Again, in the heart, however Uriyana Bandha went, let it be. It's now moved on. We're moving on to the next breathing practice. So with the right thumb, go ahead and close the right nostril. Inhale to the left. With the ring finger, close the left nostril, open the right, and exhale to the right. At the end of that exhale, close the right nostril, open the left, inhale left again. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Close the right, inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Two more. Close the right, inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale.
Last one. Close the right. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Now we go the other direction. Right here, don't switch your hand. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left nostril, exhale. Close the left nostril, open the right, inhale. Close the right side, open the left side, exhale. Close the left, open the right, inhale. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Two more rounds. Close the left. Open the right, inhale. Close the right side, open the left, exhale. Last one, close the left, open the right, inhale. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Release the right hand down and let's just breathe through both nostrils here. Creating again that same sense of peace, of self-love, of acceptance, of balance and equanimity within the body, within the mind, within our hearts and spirits. Now the last um, practice we're gonna do, it is like our normal alternate nostril breathing, but we're gonna add a retention to it. So retention, like when we did Uyana Banda, when we held the breath in, it's the same idea. We're gonna include Jalandhara Banda, so Mula Banda at the pelvic floor, Jalandhara Banda at the middle of the body, or uh, <laughs> Uriyana Banda at the middle of the body, and then Jalandhara Banda at the throat. Banda means lock. So it just means that we're going to lock that space. So imagine if there's like a, I don't know. Yeah, like, you know, when the boats go up and then they lock the water to fill it up with lock, may put the lock in and then fill up the water so that the boat can go up higher and then it escalates. It's that same idea. You create that lock to create a sense of retention in the breath. So Jalandhara Bandha locks by bringing the chin towards the chest and compressing there. Can't really talk when you lock Jalandhara Bandha, but it's you literally want to touch your chin to your neck. You want to create so that there's no space there. Really lock it in, and then when we release, then we can exhale or inhale depending on the um, on the part of the breath we're working on. So same idea, a little bit complicated, but stay with me. Same idea with the uh, Vishnu Mudra, closing the right, inhaling to the left. But then here, before we exhale, so inhale to the left, we close both nostrils. Now, not at the tip of the nostrils like this, but see if you can find that bony part of your nose, and that's where you're going to lock. So it's a higher up position. So inhale to the left, lock both nostrils, lock Jalandhara Bandha, we hold the breath, then we release, open the right nostril to alternate and exhale. Then, we're, then after that, same thing. After the exhale, lock, we'll hold the retention with the breath out, which is a little harder to do, I'll give you that. And then lift, inhale through the right, lock, release, exhale through the left, lock. So whenever I say lock, that means close both nostrils, bring the chin to the chest, and hold your breath, whether it's the out breath or the in breath that you're holding. If at any point, as I haven't given you the cue to release, inhale, or to exhale, and you need to, please breathe. <laughs> Don't pass out. Don't hold your breath until you get dizzy. 
you want to kind of work your way into it. So we're going to start really slow with a count of four, 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 four. So basically holding for four. And then we're going to try to expand it a little bit more. So the inhale might be eight, let's say, but the lock will always be four. And then the exhale might be maybe 10, 12, 16. It kind of just depends. You find yourself exhaling as long as you need to. And then lock again, also for four. So we won't hold the breath more than four seconds. And then as we progress through the weeks, maybe we can hold it a little bit longer. So here we go. Nice upright position. Let's take that right hand to Vishnu Mudra. Soften the shoulders. You let it, all the uh, ideas and the instructions kind of just come to you. Find yourself in a state of ease and comfort. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Closing the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Lock. Release. Exhale through the right. Let it be long. Lock again with the exhale breath. Release. Inhale through the right. Lock. Release. Exhale through the left. Lock. Inhale left. Lock. Exhale right. Lock. Inhale right. Lock. Exhale left. Lock and retain. Inhale left. Lock and retain. Exhale right. Lock and retain. Inhale right. Lock and retain. Exhale left. Lock and retain. Last round. Inhale left. Lock. Exhale right. Lock. Inhale right. Lock. And exhale left. Lock. Release the hand and inhale through both nostrils. 
exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, both nostrils. Now, no locking, no retaining, no alternating, just breathing both nostrils. Inhale. Exhale, soften the shoulders, let the body be at rest. Notice and observe the left and right sides of the body. Can you notice which nostril is more active right now? Are you breathing more through the left or through the right? Is that available for you to notice? Can you follow the full trajectory of your breath as it deeply fills the body and the lungs and as it releases completely, outwardly, emptying the body and the lungs? Continue to breathe like this with awareness, with intention. And start to regulate your breath so that now you're not breathing perhaps so deeply, but more so just naturally. Maybe you notice the belly rise and the belly sink and fall. Maybe you notice that the breath is not as audible as it was before. It's a little bit more silent. Maybe you notice the temperature changes around the nostrils, around the area of the upper lip, each time you breathe in and each time you breathe out. Maybe there is a coolness with the breath coming in and a warmth with the breath flowing out. I'd like to take this time to remind you that at any point throughout your day, regardless of what's going on around you, we can use the breath as a tool to allow us to come into mindfulness, into present moment, to connect us with the here and now. Allow yourself one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, you can blink the eyes open. Good job. I love my pranayama practice. I try to do it every day if possible. Sometimes I don't do it, but it's nice to share it with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and move the body just a little bit so that we can stretch our legs before our sound healing. I'm going to push my camera back. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and extend the legs forward. They've been kind of crossed for a while now. So let's go ahead and reach them forward. Kind of shake them out a little bit. Maybe give them a little squeeze, a little hug. If you need to bend your knees, kind of just feel your legs, your hips. You know what's going on with those legs. Point and flex the feet. So you want to kind of create a little bit of movement in the um, ankle and then the arch of the foot. Maybe circles. You can do the same thing with your wrists. And with the legs extended, maybe the feet flex, the belly drawn in, and the rib cage lifted. Let's inhale, draw the arms up. Maybe gazing up, reaching up, and then exhale, just let them come down to the sides. Fingertips to the floor. Let's do that again. Keep those feet flexed, legs nice and engaged, so contract the quadriceps. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bring them down. Fingertips to the floor. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Lift the chest, shoulders back, extend out of your body. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, arms down. Good. And then let's go ahead and bring the right knee into the chest. Give it a nice hug. Wrap that left elbow around the knee. And let's take a nice gentle twist. Taking the right hand behind you and looking over that right shoulder. Easy, steady breath. Just a gentle twist. Nothing too crazy. And then exhale. Let's release. 
Go ahead and extend that right leg, bring the left leg in, and the same thing on the other side. Right elbow wraps around that knee. Give yourself a nice rotation in the torso. Left fingertips down behind you. Twist, 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 twist. Look back over that left shoulder. Lengthen the torso and the spine. Breathing easy. And then exhale, slowly come back to center. And extend the left leg. Shake both legs out. Good. Shake the hands out, move the wrists. We're going to go into our sound healing portion of our practice. You're welcome to do this uh, part of your practice um, in a supine position. So laying down on your back, you can put a blanket over you. Get nice and cozy. If you're at home, even jump in the bed if that feels comfortable for you and you want to get a little bit more rest. I want you guys to really create like a little bit of a oasis for yourselves here. So use this time, these last maybe 15, 20 minutes of our practice to really surrender and kind of just maybe daydream, maybe just kind of float out, uh, astral travel, I think some people say they could do. You know, just kind of let yourself be out of your body. Um, there's a lot of stress that we carry uh, whenever we are human beings. <laughs> you know, uh, animals tend to release their stress fairly easily. You know, if, a, if a, uh, an animal is being chased by a lion, let's say, once they're safe, if they don't get eaten, then <laughs> they tend to kind of shake out their whole bodies and just kind of release that stress and then they move on as if nothing happened. We humans tend to not do that. We tend to collect it and it stays within us. It stays within our hearts. It stays within our bodies and in our minds and it affects the rest of our day, or the rest of our week, or the rest of our lives and it affects all our, our relationships with our family, our kids, our friends. So allow yourself a moment to just kind of not, not be there. Really relax the muscles of your body and let the sounds that are going to be playing come through. Let them do their healing. Don't need to worry about how or what happens. Just let them enter. Surrender to what you find and enjoy.
Slowly and gently, we'll start coming out of this pure, loving space of relaxation and healing. Allow it to linger within your heart. Carry it with you throughout your day. This space of understanding, of comfort, of ease and is accessible to us at any time just the same way our breath is. As you feel ready to do so, you can begin to add gentle movement to the fingers, the toes, the hands, the feet, wrists and ankles, beginning to reawaken the body. Notice the parts of your body making contact with the earth. And see if your body calls for any particular movement, perhaps knees into the chest or a happy baby or a nice long stretch. See 
see what your body needs right now and supply it with what it needs. It's in your power. Maybe a little twist, whatever your body calls for here. And as you're ready, if you've done both sides equally and you feel ready to move on, you can go ahead and roll onto your right side for a few moments. I invite you to keep the eyes closed, the attention focused inward. And with the next inhale breath, you can make your way up to that same comfortable seated position we found ourselves in throughout our breathing and our chanting practice. Nice, tall, upright spine. Weight of the head supported over the shoulders. Weight of the head and shoulders supported over the hips. An effortless seated posture, Sukhasana. Easy seated posture. Relax the knees down to the sides, let the hips soften, open. Allow yourself one more deep breath in. Bringing the palms together, we'll chant Om together to close our practice. protected and safe, may we feel contented and pleased, and may our physical bodies support us with health and with strength. May our lives, all of our lives, from every walk of life, from every person on the planet, from every living sentient being on the planet, may our lives unfold smoothly with ease. Namaste, Yogi.